Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am the Consequential Runner and we are joined once again with Coach Supreme, Coach Mark. Hello Coach Mark. Hi Dazzy, good to see you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Good to see you too. And um, I need to have you here for the questions that I'm about to ask you. For those of you that are joining this channel for the first time, this is where we have Coach Mark great coach we get to corner him and ask a coach the questions we want to ask as runners so if you want to stay in the loop with all the questions we pitched to coach mark you know what to do hit subscribe if you like the video um, hit like and that helps us out and um, if you want if there's a question you want me to ask coach mark just throw them in the comments and i pick them up coach mark we'll, the question we've got for you is around treadmills and are we missing a trick with them? Because I think by and large, most people feel the same way. And I certainly do. I would only consider using a treadmill if there's a storm outside. Otherwise, I can't stand them. Um, I find them boring and I find them tedious. But the question is this. We might be missing a trick there. There might be some good ways or good uses of a treadmill that actually would make us better runners. I don't know. This is the question we're putting to you. So Coach Mark, Download onto us everything we should be thinking about when we think about using or potentially using a treadmill so running becomes easier and better for us. Treadmills, Coach Mark. <laughs> Tell us about them. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I doubt if many people watching this would like treadmills too much. Uh, to <laughs> love it. There's no, there's no, uh, it, it's definitely the case that running outside is what running's all about you're out in the elements get the scenery and um the wind if you're in wellington and the sun all the elements it's all it's all part of it it's all yeah. part of that that why we love the sport but but as you say um sometimes that might not be possible because um because of the weather you know it's particularly bad we might be traveling um and short of time and there is a treadmill handy um there's there's different me you know why we might need to use a treadmill so so it's it, it can have its uses um it's also can be quite useful if you want to work on your um your running technique um especially if you can place the treadmill in front of a mirror so you can actually focus on running tall not swaying side to side focus especially on your upper body that your arms are moving um properly all, all that sort of stuff um, a treadmill is good for that because there's no disruption to your technique I in terms, in terms of curves or you know that type of thing. Yeah, I, w I imagine you wouldn't just need a mirror if, if you had a little GoPro or even your phone or something. GoPro, oh, I, of course, yeah, and, that's right. Yeah, now, depending yeah. on if you do a treadmill in a gym, depending yeah. on the policy, if they let you set it up, but you can always find a time in the morning when no one's there. Okay, okay. And that will give yeah. you tips or tricks or insights in terms of your running technique. Yeah, uh, and and it's also good at say if you wanted to do a, a a tempo run at a particular, you know, especially if you, especially if it's if it's a um, a pace that you're not generally very familiar with, um, you can just set the treadmill at that pace and get get used to feeling efficient at that pace. Right. So again, it can have a have a use there. Um, and it's also quite good uh, sometimes for a recovery run. I've I've done that before, um, very very occasionally um, when I used to work in a gym, <laughs> and there was a treadmill available, and I wanted a very easy recovery run. I just put it on, and I'd literally just turn the legs over with no uh, with no effort, uh, yeah. and that was quite effective as well. A treadmill is a little bit easier on your body because. The feeling I get is I'm not pushing myself forwards. My legs are going from under my body. It's it's a fairly yeah. different sort of sensation. So yeah, treadmills as or is that why you use them for an easy run? They can be not as taxing at the well, same relative speed, or I don't. Yeah, well, well, they, they they do have their risks. They 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 can be easier, but um, they they can have their risks. For for example, um, you have to be really careful with them that you. Um, that you keep your leg turnover the same as if you're outside. It's very yeah. easy to cheat on a treadmill, for example, because the ground's moving underneath you. So you can yeah. run with big bounding, uh, gigantic strides, for example, and you can keep yeah. the same pace yeah. as, some, as someone running normally. But then you, you try and transfer that outside. It's not going to work, obviously. You're just going to be bounding up and down on the spot. Yep. And um, 
and also that brings in risks to uh, in terms of jarring as well. Um, so there's, you, there's there's natural it's natural to have a breaking um, uh, sort of a natural breaking of the uh, of the the body because you you've got this um, you know platform right in front of you, so you're you don't want to kind of run into the walls as such. So you can have every every time you put down the stairs, especially if you're not not really used to it, you can get a breaking sensation in your right. legs, which causes problems in your shins. A lot of a lot of people who start treadmill running uh, get shin problems sometimes oh, for that reason. Okay. Um, and the and the other thing um, is you know you you want to make it as you you really want to make it as close as possible to outside. So if if you just have it on a zero gradient, uh, there's no friction or gravity really that's working against you so it's a bit like running downhill outside so if you you, you want to place the treadmill on a a, a one degree gradient um and then that that will alleviate that it'll it'll feel more like you're running outside well that's interesting okay so the the zero degree gradient which is how the treadmill's usually set up i've always found yeah. that the speed just seems so much easier on a treadmill but is that because you're effectively as you say with with the the belt moving underneath you um yeah the zero degree effectively is is running downhill so move the gradient yeah. up to like level one or whatever that is um and then that's that's equivalent to running flat yes Oh, that's, that's really interesting. Okay. Yeah. 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 And, and and apart from that, just you really have to focus on your technique. And as I said, it's it's ideal for focusing on your technique, but um, you want to make sure that you're using the same technique that you would outside. You're not doing big, long, bounding strides, um, yeah. uh, which which won't won't help you outside, and also it will create a risk of injury. I only laugh because my technique, if I'm on a treadmill and it's not that frequently, is 100% focused on not falling off the thing for whatever reason. Yes. I, I, find, <laughs> I find my mental energy is really, 90% of it is expended on just making sure I'm staying right in the middle the whole time. You know, there's there's not a lot of variation that it will sort of take from you where, um, yeah, you're running out on the spot. <laughs> comfortably you know adjust your pace and and you're not going to fall off the front or fall off the back excuse me okay all right oh that's good okay I, I think um so the big things for me are okay if i'm going to use the treadmill uh do, don't run a, on zero that's effectively the same as running on a slight downhill get the gradient one click up um so you've got just a little bit of up gradient and that's equivalent to the flat um, and it is a good time to get used to uh, practicing running at a certain speed, certainly in Wellington with a little bit of wind. If you run on a, a, a circuit, half the time you've got a tailwind, half the time you've got a headwind. So it's pretty hard to get that, that constancy of a speed. That's something you can do on the treadmill. But as you're doing that, make sure you're not bounding. You're not sort of jumping in the air where you're letting the belt sort of flow underneath you and landing again because mm. that's not transferable um, when you take it out to a run. And if you do try and transfer it, you might get an injury is, or, or you're at greater risk of an injury. Is that is that it in a nutshell, Coach Mark? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, it, it reminds me as well... Um, uh, world record holder in the marathon back in the day was a Norwegian oh, yes, yeah. woman. I love stories. I love the stories. It's yeah. good. And of course, living in the, living in the, uh, Norway, uh, there were many days where she couldn't go out running because the weather yeah. was so bad. So she had a treadmill and this as well was a, she had incredible mental strength. And that was probably in part to the fact she trained a lot on the treadmill, but she, she did marathon training on the treadmill. So big, long, often pretty quick runs just on the treadmill and, and all around the treadmill she set up uh, photos of all her rivals <laughs> all, all on the wall in front of her yeah. so that was her motivation uh, mm -hmm. and and for her that worked pretty well because she broke the world record yeah. she was a pretty unique person having said that with incredible it's... mental strength but uh, it, it shows that it you know, get, it's, it's, it's a kind of, if there's a will, there's a way, you know, whatever circumstance you find yourself in, if you find yourself somewhere where it's too hot or too stormy or there's just nowhere you can run because of traffic or pollution or wherever you happen to be in the world, um, 
you can you can make a treadmill work. Uh, it's not ideal, but uh, yeah, there are ways. Look, I, I salute anyone who can run on a treadmill for longer than half an hour. You 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 know, yeah yeah. I, I salute them because I struggle. But if you can do it, great. But what you have given us is some tips for or some more reason why we'd jump on and i think one of the big ones that resonates with me is just checking out my form i'll take along the yeah. GoPro. i'll set it up i'll just run on it and i'll see i'll see if there's something and i might send the footage through to you coach mark and yes you yeah. anything. that'll be great so yeah those of you that have a coach then maybe send some of the form through to the coach because you're able to capture it on a treadmill and if you don't have a coach Coach Mark's details are in the show notes, so drop them a line. Coach Mark, thank you so much. You've you've given me something to think about, something extra to think about um, in terms of treadmills. There's a little bit more appeal there for me now. Now you've added a bit more purpose. So, Coach Mark, thanks so much for that. Hey, that, that's all right. Glad to help. For everybody else, thanks for watching to the end of the video. Um, Take care, enjoy your runs, and we'll catch you in the next one. See you later.